Today we are joined by the shower running and also little Grogu is joined. He's joined the, the party today to talk about the Mandalorian chapter 15, 16, episode, yeah, chapter 15. That seems wrong, but it must be right. Chapter 15, titled The Believer. This is season two, episode seven of The Mandalorian. We are going to be doing a breakdown today, and by we I mean me, and you are here for the ride, as well as little Grogu, because Grogu wasn't in the episode. Spoiler warning! We will be breaking everything down, so obviously if you don't want to know anything about the episode and you haven't seen it, go watch the episode first and then let's come chat about it. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. I am trying to get 150 subscribers. I think I might need to stop saying that because I keep losing subscribers when I say that. But I need like 15 more of you guys to just come join the party. And after Mando is done, we're going to have lots of Star Wars news because if you saw the Disney investors meeting yesterday, we have a whole slate of Star Wars stuff to talk about, including Hayden Christensen coming back as Darth Vader for Obi-Wan Kenobi. We have Ahsoka. We have the Bad Batch series as well as a trailer, which I haven't done any video for yet. I haven't done any video for the Marvel stuff yet because I haven't had time to edit it. But I did film some reactions to three of the trailers, so that stuff will be up on Tuesday. I will try to do a Star Wars video separately because I know that there's a lot of stuff to cover and you don't want to miss anything, so please come check it out. If you like this video while you're watching, please give a thumbs up. And since this is already two minutes into the video, we're gonna go ahead and get started with my breakdown. This episode starts with the junkyard prison that Miggs Mayfield is serving at. It's good to know, even in the New Republic, they still believe in forced labor in prisons. So I guess the New Republic still has the same sort of prison system that uh, bad guys do. That's <laughs> good to know. But whether or not, you know, he's working on old, basically looks like we see some old TIE fighters that they're pretty much breaking apart for scraps. Kara then arrives to break out, not break out, she releases him upon orders. She pulled a lot of strings to get him to be released and go with them as part of her little martial uh, act of office. He sees Boba and is like, oh, I thought you were the other guy, and uh, Amanda then shows up. He's like, oh crap, um, not looking good for me. So they all kind of come and go on to find uh, Moff Gideon. And basically the same Migs Mayfield needs a needs to get to an Imperial hub, which is gonna be found, you know, in an in a base. So they decide to go to Morag. Um, sounds like Morag, like in Guardians of the Galaxy, but it's Morag with a K. Boba's armor looks nice and shiny and polished, so sometime he polishes armor up. They refer to Grogu as his kid, which is really adorable because he is really like dad. I honestly really thought that they were teasing Fennec Chan betraying them. I think it is something that maybe could happen in the next episode, but it really seemed to be that way. She looked really invested in like the mining hub, like what exactly she was, what was going on there, because they find out that Morak is a mining hub. So I think it could be possible that Maybe either we're hearing something about Rack's story, or she could betray. They tease repeatedly about Manda removing his helmet. Uh, there's a lot of jokes that are brought up, and we'll get to that in a second. Uh, which then, Mando disguises himself as an Imperial and gives his best guarded Kara to look after. Luckily, everything is alright. The prequels really make enemy of the Tusken Raiders, but the Mandalorian has been pretty good about trying to reverse that and saying, no, look, they're just, this is their land and they're invaders. So on Morak, uh, Migs Mayfield makes the same point that uh, Empire or New Republic were all invaders on the, of their land. That we we're being forced under somebody's control. I think that's a very interesting point that they're going with. I think that's very interesting too that I, as I brought up earlier, like the prison system looks really aggressive, like it doesn't look like it's a rehabilitation, it looks like it's a punishment. 
we we ain't here to get political, but I have some feelings about that, but it's just interesting. Whether or not that you can you agree with that point of view, you can't really argue that obviously country other countries do prisons a little bit differently than like the United States does, for example. So it it, it would be interesting, I would have imagined it would have had a different system, but clearly it doesn't. I mean they're not as brutal, but or slaver it doesn't seem not brutal. Abandoned pirates that attack the crew, of course everyone is like, and me included, is where's Hondo? Because whenever a pirate comes up, I just want Hondo and Anaka to arrive. My friend. Uh maybe he'll show up with his sure. The Imperials help fight off the pirates and we get a like celebration with the stormtroopers are all happy and basically the stormtroopers save Megs Mayfield and Din because they don't know that they're intruders. They think that they're just normal stormtroopers, and that was the only transport to make it uh, with the Redonium, which is what they're using, uh, what they're mining, to the base. The stormtroopers celebrate their arrival with like random cheers like glory of the Empire, long live the Empire, that sort of thing that Moth Gideon was saying as well. Then we find out they get over to try to do the hub, try to get the coordinates, and Migs Mayfield can't do it because he served under one of the officers that is sitting at the table. And we find it, and then Din's like, I'll do it, and then we find out that you have to do a facial scan. And we find out that Mando will do anything for that kid, and he removes his helmet, and we get to see Pedro Pascal in all his glory, and before he can put his helmet back on, he is spotted by the commanding officer and then is basically like forced to go have a drink with them. So he has to sit uncomfortably with his helmet off for a very long time. I felt anxious for him. I just, I, you know, I want to see his face, but also I'm like, oh, it's against his will. I just want him to, to, to put his, to put his helmet back on. In the conversation when they're drinking, the word order comes up. They speak specifically about how People think they want freedom, but in reality they want order. I think this is a hint towards the First Order. I mean, it's not the first time order is used in the Star Wars universe. I mean, that is what the Empire's vision is about, but I think this could be hinting towards the First Order. Migs Mayfield then brings up a history of a battle in which all of his battalion died when he was Imperial, and then shoots the officer in the face because he's just, they have been disrespecting him, so and then shoots several troops. They escape from Morak facility, are picked up by Boba Fett, and then they are chased with TIE fighters as per usual. Um, also, at this point, Keridan and Fennec Shan are sharpshooting, which is good. They, 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 they sniping together, little gals. We get to see the return of the, I don't know them torpedoes, but I think that's what they are from uh, Attack the Clones. Uh, I think they're Ion? Like, I think they're Ion torpedoes. Don't quote me on that, and if I'm wrong, they're telling me I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, you can fight me. I don't care. Um, but they go, boom. Yeah. It's Imploder. So I think it's a Thermal. I think it's a Ion Imploder. But, don't take my word for it. But they're an attack of clones, so we see that in this in Boba's ship, because they try to send it after, um, Oh, we won. Then, instead of bringing Mayfield back to the prison, they were like, oh no, he died in the refinery and they let him go. And then the final shot of the episode is of Gideon's Star Destroyer, and Mando appears and reads Gideon's line back to him and it's gonna be an ultimate showdown in the finale, and I cannot wait, y'all! It's gonna be so good! And Roku's gonna use the force on you. He's gonna force choke you. I'm so excited. Like, it's unbelievable. And next week I get to work really early, so I don't get to, like, be energized when I do this video, but I'm sure I'll be excited, so I might wake up super early to try to get this video out for you as soon as possible. But I didn't have time to write any, like, questions, so let, let me just, let me just give you my thoughts. I believe we're gonna see the return of the Night Owls. They will come back because they're going to, forces are gonna collide, you know, if they wanted them 
Bo-Katan wanted Din to go help them uh, get Moff Gideon, get the Dark Saber, fight him, and then go back to Mandalore. I think we will, they will come in, into contact. Ahsoka could be coming into contact because I do think Thrawn is going to be an element. I don't think he will be revealed in this season. I think maybe, actually, check that. I think he will be revealed in post credit scene of this season. I think maybe we might even see him fully. Jedi. There's going to be a Jedi that's going to show up in the next episode. I was feeling like it was Ezra Bridger. Now I and I could be equally feeling like it could be Cal Kestis from Jedi Fallen Order, but I really do think they're gonna go the Luke Skywalker route. I mean, what would it? Luke Skywalker showed up? That would be epic. Also, what would Boba Fett think? Um, like, you will knock me into the Sarlacc pit and now I'm all disfigured. I think something's gonna happen. Um, I would love to see Ahsoka meet Luke Skywalker. Like, that would be pretty awesome. She'd be like, eh, it was your dad, the pad one, and then I got kicked out of the Jedi Order. Well, and then I got, yeah, I kicked out of the Jedi Order, and then I was invited back, but then I said no because y'all are corrupted. And then um, that was one of the reasons that your dad now doesn't trust, didn't trust the Jedi Order and went to the drugs. <laughs> We're definitely going to get a Beskar Spear versus Darksaber showdown. That is what that is for. I mean, Lightsaber versus versus Beskar. That is, we've been teasing that the whole time. I just want multiple lightsabers. I want everyone going crazy. I want Grogu to force choke some more people. I just want to see it. Also, are we going to see Darth Grogu? Let me know what you think. I'm going to wrap it up there because I feel like my mind is just wandering with thoughts. And stay tuned because on Tuesday I'm going to try to get a video of... Uh, we'll see what I can do. I think I might want to get try to get two videos. But we're going to get a video, if not, it might be one video, video of the Marvel stuff from the Disney investors meeting and then the Star Wars stuff, or say Lucasfilm stuff, but... I know they're making a Willow and uh, a Willow series and another Indiana Jones, which would be um, Lucasfilm as well, because uh, Lucasfilm makes three properties total. So uh, stay tuned for that, and thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next. Me and Grogu will see you in the next one. Bye. Use the force.